Stay right there in your easy chair For 30 minutes of pleasure Don't you go, it's more than the show It's the talk of the desert It's the talk of the desert with Paul and Reed. I just love coming home at night I turn around, she's a treasure Everyone and everywhere I go the talk of the desert. Now, here's Melinda. Talk of the Desert is on location for the 28th annual Frank Sinatra Celebrity Golf Invitational at Fantasy Springs Casino. This is the 28th annual year. It's unbelievable. We've got terrific guests. We've got lots of celebrities. We have a lot of golf. And uh, it's just wonderful that everybody can join us. And it's like old home week. Everybody here is so warm, so friendly, and I always encourage people to come out and come to the golf course and just stand there and watch the golfers golf, and they'll shake hands and they'll sign autographs, bring the record albums, pieces of paper, photographs. They will take care of you. It's just, it's just really wonderful. And thank you for joining me. Well, how many years has actor Tony LoBianco been here for the Frank Sinatra Golf Tournament? Gosh, um, I, I, I haven't counted, but it, it must be about 15, 16, maybe more. I don't know. Something like that. Yeah. 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 Well, I know that, uh, you see, everybody here, or not everybody here, but a lot of people here yeah. are Italian. Yeah, LoBianco is Italian. You, 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 would, you would suspect that. You would that. think so, yes. yes. <laughs> now, I want to know, do you cook? Like Frankie, you better believe I cook. I okay. love, I make a great... Putanesca, and my meatballs are out of the out of the sight. I'm sure. Well, I'd like to try those one of these okay. days. Okay. But the only Italian male that never cooked yes was Jerry Vale because he always had Rita. That's right. Yeah, That's he right. didn't he didn't know how to cook because <laughs> Rita did everything. I, I know, but but he and I we played bocce together. Oh, did you, Jerry? Yeah, yeah, we, yeah. We were winning a game fifteen to nothing, and and the next score was gonna we would win it. They they overtook us and won the game. <laughs> 16 to 15. Oh, oh, <laughs> He's a sweet man. God bless him. Yeah, no, that's As right. Frankie. God, yeah, we God lost. Bless we Frankie. lost Jerry. We lost Frankie Randall uh, um, in 2014. It was. We lost a lot of other entertainers and that's actors sure. that time too. That's for sure. Now, how did you get into the acting biz? Oh boy, that's a that's a long story. Uh, it was really a teacher, you know, a teacher who inspired me in high school. Really. And uh, and then from there, I went to acting school. I won a contest in in high school. Of all places, Brooklyn, New York, and I was the representative of Brooklyn in the city finals in all the, all the boroughs, and uh, and from there I uh, went to acting school and studied there and studied in another school, another school, and then I started teaching and then I started, you know, I've, as now it's, I've done 102 movies, so and not and countless plays, which is where my heart is, you know. Oh. You prefer play. doing plays than movies. Yeah, right? because it's an immediate reaction. and oh, uh, also, the audience is right there. That's right. And yeah. I do a Q&A, Jim. I do a one-man show about Mayor Fiorello LaGuardia. Yes. It was a great, great mayor. Oh, no and, joke. And, and uh, there's an airport named after him. There him. you go. <laughs> <laughs> and also the, the idea of, uh, maybe, I'm able, and I wrote it too, so, and, I did, and directed it. So <laughs> the idea is to, mm, each time I keep fixing it, because keeping it up to date of what's happening today in our crazy, crazy country politically, yes. uh, I am able to to parallel exactly what was going on in his time, LaGuardia's stuff, to what's happening now. Oh, really? And so for a straight play, non-musical, there are 14 ovations for what is being said. Really? That's very important. Can you give us an example of one of them? Well, it says, uh, tell me, don't you think that congressmen who write laws for you to follow should be required to follow those laws themselves. No joke. Well, it sounds like you agree with me. Yeah. So let me. So then you do yourself a favor. In this next election, vote that way and throw the bums you voted for out. I love it. Yeah? I love it, Tony. I mean, that's wonderful. Because that's you know that's we we're, we're yeah. the ones responsible yeah. for the terrible government that we have. 
you know, so we vote. No, that's right. <clears throat> and I see that a lot of voters don't know what they're voting for, and I call it a lot of it as the dumbing down of America. There you go. Exactly. That's yeah. what we've done. We've done. Yeah. Yeah. Well, of uh, 103 movies you did? Mm, yeah, yeah. Okay, give, name me a couple of your favorite ones. Well, The French Connection, everybody yeah. knows, because I won five Academy Awards. And my first film, which is a cult classic called The Honeymoon Killers, beautiful movie, black and white movie. We made for $125,000. Really? And it's, it's a classic. Uh, it was Truffaut's favorite film. Uh, Seven Ups, Blood Brothers, Fist, with Sylvester Stallone, Blood Brothers with Richard Gere, uh... Clint Eastwood and, and Burt Reynolds and uh, uh, the heck was the name? City City uh, Heat uh, and so on. Just a ton of them. Yeah. How many years have you been coming to the Frank Sinatra Golf Tournament? I, I, what I think I said, I think 16, 17, I forget now. Yeah. But, uh, you know, but the most, the thing I'm really proud of, I did a tribute to our veterans. Oh, beautiful. It's a five minute, It's a five minute tribute. And so far, <clears throat> including you now and you who are watching, Go to it because 14 million people on YouTube have seen it. Yeah. What's it called? It, give them, give them the information on how they it, look this up. Justacommonsoldier.com. Justacommonsoldier.com. And take a look at this. I'm really, really proud of it. It's 25 minutes, but but the reaction is tremendous. If you're a veteran, or your parents are veterans, or your uncle or whatever it is, you'll love this. Are you a veteran? No, I am not. No. I am not. My brother was, mm -hmm. but uh, I am tremendous. Uh, supporter, just as I am of our uh, finest of uh, uh, police department, and we, we see people ragging on them, which is ridiculous, because oh. New York, we have the best police department in the oh, world, yes. and we have some entertainers who uh, say some awful things about it's, them. It's unbelievable, isn't it, truly, Tony? Truly, truly. Yeah. 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 But I'm, I'll tell you what, let me, because I'm here, we can, we, you and I can speak about this forever, and I'd love to, because that's where I come from. That's what's important to me. That's why I'm an actor uh, and a director, right? To make contact with our people and get out the word, get out the message of what we are in, in direction to our, our, our lives and where, we, where we're going. Entertainment to me is just a stardust. You get your attention. Right. And, and right. something important should be going on. If Look, if you're a performer and you dare to say, watch me, you better have something to say. Yeah. You know, exactly. so I believe exactly. that, and that's all. But yeah. as far as the Sinatra and the man, you know, we the drove, man, that's yeah, right. the man is. Can you believe a hundred years of Sinatra? I, I, not only can I not, not believe it, I'm so honored to be the uh, host of uh, with Barbara uh, tonight. And Fantastic! It's just, it's just the most great thing. You don't know how much he means to me. I know you. You know how much he means to the world. That's for sure. But personally, I've known him. Thank God. And uh, he is, <coughs> he's, such a, he's such a generous, good-hearted man who was such, his, his voice, his voice is like medicine. You know, you listen to Frank Sinatra and you get cured. <laughs> <laughs> Put the doctors out of business, <laughs> huh? Exactly. I mean, I watched, I, I drove him a couple of three hours and all I had was on Sinatra. That's all I, I listen to. Seriously, Sinatra on XM? I have, I have, I have, this, I'm, I'm a caveman. I have tapes. Oh, you have tapes? <laughs> <laughs> I know. Okay. I, cassette I, tapes? I, I, yeah, uh, well, no, uh, cassette tapes. Yeah. Hey, listen, look what I'm still using. Oh, a flip phone. A flip phone. I love flip phones. Uh, I wish a, I could get another flip phone. <laughs> they, don't, they don't make them anymore, I know. of course. You know, it's a relic. But anyway, uh, to, for the kids, for the Sinatra kids. Uh, this is why we do the, all this. So this is why Barbara does this, and God That's bless right. her. That's right. And uh, we can do as much as we can. And I understand there was a luncheon the other day that raised an awful lot of money. Yes. Which is uh, which is fantastic. I and think it was a quarter of a million dollars they raised in the luncheon. Just fantastic. And I hope we do it again here yeah. and make more. Yeah, exactly. So uh, we've got to help these kids, abuse kids, and kids that uh, need our care and our love and our attention. Yeah. And uh, I'm very proud to be here to do that. Good, Tony. It's and wonderful. I, I can't tell you how much I love your husband. Thank you. He was a sweetheart, Thank sweetheart. So I, well, I don't got to tell you, he was a sweetheart. To me, he was. You know, loved him. That's crazy about him. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Tony. It's Thank good you, to see you. Sweetheart. Thank you so Thank much. You. Thank, you. Thank you. Thank God you. Bless you. God bless you. God bless you.
it up. Oh, yeah. Heartbound. Come on. Heartbound. Oh. All right. Is the billion dollar shot. <laughs> this is a person that makes me laugh like you can't believe. I have tears streaming down my face. His name is Elizabeth Mule Deer. That's right. No, it's Gary. But if you ask him, is that's his real name, he'll say, no, it's Elizabeth that's Mule Deer. Right. See, that's I right. know your jokes, you don't do I? You do know my jokes. Yes, I do. Very well. I do. Yes, yeah. yes. And also, um, I wanted, want you to do your um, jokes that you do about golf tournaments, like, oh, Oh, it'll it'll open up down oh, okay. there. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Other guys hit off the tee. You hear things like "nice drive," "great shot." You got all of that one. When I hit, you hear things like "that'll work," "that won't hurt you." I think it opens up over there. I didn't hear any branches. Ooh, bad bounce. I hit one last week at the AT and T, and my partner said it sounded good. I said, "Where'd it go?" He said, "I didn't see it." I belong to Spearfish Canyon Country Club in the Black Hills of Western South Dakota. Our pro is a 16. If you want to, if you want to take a playing lesson, you have to give him five a side. And we had a devastating fire at our clubhouse about three years ago. Burn it right down to the axles. How's that? I love it. Like I love it. See, yeah. Gary, I think you're just fabulous. <laughs> you know it. I, I, see, I, know, I know a lot of your show. I, know now, you. I just saw you recently at the... Um, Oh, I just uh, lost it. at the other golf tournament. Yeah, AT and T, Pebble Beach. Well, no, but oh, it was in over, December. Oh, oh, it was uh, the UCP. Yes, it was for the Dennis James, Dennis and James. I just my brain just went. It happens once in a while. Well, and you were, I heard new stuff. Yeah, I've got team. a lot. I've got a lot of new material. Well, of course you do. And I also played in the million dollar hole in one last week at, at Pebble Beach, and uh, the two charities I designated was UCP oh, of fantastic. the Inland Empire fantastic. and also the Barbara Sinatra Children's Center. Unfortunately, my ball went by the pin. <laughs> so, so Barbara and Mickey, you missed 50000 apiece by about this far. Aww. It went too far past. Aww. But uh, nobody really got the hole in one, so Joe Don Rooney from Rascal Flats got the closest. He got 50000 And then we had the celebrity shootout, and no one won that, so we had a chip off. And uh, Kenny G won that for his, for his uh, charity, another 50000 So AT&T was a great, but I'm exhausted. We yeah. walk five so days. Yeah. So you just last week, last weekend, yes. were at the AT&T yes. in Pebble Beach. Yes. And now you're this weekend at the Frank Sinatra yes. Golf Tournament. Yes. Tournament. So it is, is your slogan is, I golf, therefore I am? Like mine is, I shop, yeah. therefore I am. Well, it's been one of the greatest four-letter words I've ever run into. <laughs> golf is, you know, besides uh, when I came out of rehab, I think we talked about this, I had to take up a new addiction, and I took up golf. Uh, when I was 47 years old, and I've been playing ever since. And everything that I do now, you can trace back to this game. Every job that I do really? was from some way, whether with it's Johnny Mathis, who I've been with 21 years now, going on in the middle of the show, who I met at a golf tournament in Winston-Salem, or Royal Caribbean Cruise Lines. I met my the guy, the head of Royal Caribbean Entertainment, 26 years ago. And made my deal there. Everything I do pretty much comes out of the, came out, comes out of the game. Isn't that amazing? Yeah, and I'm not that great a golfer, but you know, well, I'm, I'm actually an 18 handicap that makes a living playing golf, and I do show business on the side. <laughs> That's a good thing. Isn't it's it? great. Oh, it's the best. So, how many years have you been here at the Frank Sinatra Golf Tournament? I think tournament? I've been to 20 of them. I think I've been to 20. Okay. I, I think so. I was trying to figure it up, going back for all the old the books I have and the badges and all the things yes. I've got. Yeah. I've got so much golf stuff. I, I have, Melinda, I weighed my golf shirts about two years ago. You I took weighed a, your golf shirts? What do you mean all, by that? I took a stack in stacks, and right. I weighed and put them on a scale, and I have over 30 pounds of golf shirts from, oh. this, from this game. Okay. 30 pounds, That's and I give lots away, too. I give lots of them to, to charity things before I even take them out of the package. I still, it's, it's unbelievable. Huh? My, 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 the garage looks like a pro shop. Honest to God, I bet. I've got probably seven oh. sets of clubs. Well, it's just, it's, it's a disease. Yeah, collecting, it is. Collecting, okay, yeah. this this leads me into saying, what does Nita say to you on some nights or some mornings when you get up to play golf and about how you're dressed? She just says you're not gonna, you're not really gonna wear that, are you? 
<laughs> you I, think she's asleep, I'll right? I'll tell you. I remember one time when she was. We were we were sharing a room at the you were at the Esmeralda for this tournament, and I I got up before the alarm. I went into the ret bathroom and I called down, said stairs and canceled my wake up so she wouldn't wake up. I got dressed in the bathroom. I remembered I had my wallet on the other side of the room. I went down in the dark and crawled over, got my wallet. As I'm crawling back and getting ready to go out the door, I hear her say, what are you wearing? <laughs> and I said, it's fine. She says, what are you wearing? And so I opened the bathroom door. The little sister, see with the light? She says, no, you're not going to wear that. <laughs> <laughs> You're not wearing that. How does she know? How did she know? Wives know. Wives know. Yeah, don't, yeah, don't they? Know. Yeah, yeah, exactly, they exactly. Yeah. Well, Carrie, you've been working a whole lot besides playing golf. I've been though. working more than I ever have. I, Fantastic. I can't believe it. I tell people, I wish this would have happened in my 40s. They say it did. You just weren't paying attention. <laughs> so, yeah, I've, I've some of the greatest work now I've ever had. It's it's incredible. I just plus with Johnny Mathis, this is the 60 year is anniversary really? for him. So Fabulous. we're out, uh, you know, he celebrated his 80th last September, and he's the best I've ever heard him. Really? And I think I am probably the best I've ever been right now, too. So between the two of us, I've got 55 years in, he's got 60. So between the two of us, we've got a lot of years on stage. No joke. No yeah. Joke. yeah. yeah. Well, fantastic, Gary. Thank you for joining me. Uh, you know, we're here to support the Barbara Sinatra yes. Children's Center. Yes. Um, have you been to the Children's Center? Yes, I have. It's incredible. It and is. I want to just tell people it's one of the greatest. Well, I just, Barbara, it's wonderful what she's done. I mean, sure it, is. and it's, people have no idea how many kids. It's like 20,000 children she's affected their I lives. I know, I know. Yeah. I want it so badly to, to get that closest to the pin or holding one last week for yeah. her well, oh, and for Mickey from the other tournament. Yeah. Oh, my God. But you maybe tried. next year. That's next, right. That's you know, right. and Clint Eastwood played, and Nick Faldo caddied for him, which was really cool in the celebrity shootout. Yeah. I've got to, so to have Sir Nick Faldo carrying your, your golf bag <laughs> and Clint Eastwood playing it, that was pretty special, too. It sure was. Yeah. It sure was. So who carried your golf bag? I have my own caddy that I've had up there for five years, David oh. Morgan. And he, God bless him, he's very patient. And uh, he, knows, he knows all the courses. He knows all the greens. He tells me those greens. It's like putting on a, it's like putting on a coffee table. Really, they're so fast, well, and the and the fairways are just like iron. You know, I played out here yesterday at a course, and the ball doesn't roll. You have to whack it really hard in the green to get it to the hole. And last week you were tapping it about this far, and it would go like 20 feet. So I'm all confused. You are. Yeah. I think you're all confused anyway, Elizabeth. Yeah. No. I am. <laughs> Sorry. I am. I am. Don't worry about it. But if you can ever catch Gary Mule Deer any place, go see him. He's absolutely phenomenal, and he's totally clean. Yes, I am. I'll be down. I'll be at the McCallum this year in December with Johnny Mathis again. Oh, are you? I have. Yes. I don't have the McCallum well, theater schedule yet. Well, we're doing a weekend. We're doing like the second Fantastic. or third weekend. I know at okay. the McCallum. So I'm oh, looking wonderful. forward to that. Well, you were there a couple of years ago too. Yes. But you were by yourself. Yes, I was. Yeah. And this was... time I'm back. With Johnny. Yeah. Now, we can't do much better than no, that. No, we can't. Can you? No. Thanks, Gary. Having Johnny Mathis open and close the show for you is pretty neat. Yeah, it sure is. <laughs> it's great. Oh, well, now wait a second. I go on in the middle. Frank Sinatra opened for you one time. That's right. Yeah, tell and me Willie Nelson story. closed. Yes. I got a call from Frankie Randall. I got a call from Frankie. God bless him. And, and, and Steve Wynn at four in the morning, they knew I'd be up, <laughs> and said, We're going to open the Crystal Ballroom. At the Golden Nugget, and we need we need an act to go on. We're, Frank Sinatra is going to come out and open. When he gets off, we're going to close the curtain, strike the orchestra, and set up Willie's band. We need someone to fill in in front of the curtain, and I did that. So I actually was the only person I know to ever work with Willie Nelson and Frank Sinatra in the same night, <laughs> and having Frank open for me and Willie well, close. Yeah, so I love it. So it doesn't get any better than that. Does it? Doesn't? Does no. it? Does no. it? Gary? And you don't get any better. Oh, you sweetie, do get better, thank you. but I mean, with your comedy is. Is absolutely wonderful. Well, I've been at it a while. Yeah, just a little bit. Yeah, huh? a while, yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you come out of the womb telling jokes? Uh, no, you know what? I was wasn't. I was kind of. I always liked the straight men in 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 duos. I always liked Bing Crosby more than I did Hope. I liked Dean Martin more than Jerry Lewis. When I mean, as far as my comedy goes, mm -hmm. that's always what I I gravitated toward the straight man, Rowan and Martin. It was with Dan Rowan more than it was Dick Martin, and of course you need the two of them to work it. Yeah. And my heroes are still the Smothers Brothers. I'm so sorry that they've retired now. Tommy Smothers, to me, was one of the most brilliant guys I ever met in comedy, him and Steve Martin. But on the other hand, Dick Smothers, 
did an amazing job between the two of them. They're just, they're still my heroes. I miss them. wonderful. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Well, Gary, thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for being here for the Frank Sinatra Golf Tournament. I'll do anything for you. Oh, thanks, Gary. Thank all right. Care. I'll see you all weekend. Ah. Well, joining me is absolutely beautiful Beverly Johnson. Beverly, welcome back to Talk of the Desert. Yes, thank you. Yeah. Well, and he, you're playing golf again. Yes, I yes. am. And how many years have you been playing in the Frank Sinatra Celebrity Golf Invitational? Oh, a long time. Before I even lived here, I was coming out. So I've been living here for 10 years, so I would say about 12 years. Fantastic. Isn't that great? Now, you're on the board of directors for the Children's Center, yes. right? Yes. Yes, I am. I'm on the board, and I also I teach a self-esteem class at the center for some of the boys and the girls. And we have a great time, and then we have a little fashion show for the graduation. It's, it's really wonderful. And, you know, when the children first come out, they're very shy. They're yes. scared to come out. Yes. And by the time the second time they come out, they blossom. Yes. It's amazing. It is amazing. I, I really enjoy working with them so much. And I love seeing them come alive because I, I have a funny way of, you know, making them laugh and, and making them smile. And they really enjoy the fashion show. I, I think the boys enjoy it more than the girls. <laughs> it's really great. Well, are the girls worried about their makeup and their hair and the boys don't care, yeah, right? Well, the boys are just cool, you know. <laughs> and, you know, they just are so relaxed. And But the girls enjoy it also. What do you do to share with the children to encourage them to come out of their shells? Well, what I do, I share some of my stories, some of the times where I got knocked on the head and, you know, some of the, you know, the cat fights in the modeling world. And I tell one story about one of the girls uh, trying to knock me off the runway. And um, really, uh, yeah, we were, we were supposed to pass each other and, and, and she wasn't going to put her arms down and I went underneath her arms. Anyways, the kids get a big kick out of that. <laughs> Did you really? That was quick thinking. Yes, yes. I mean, it was like, she's not going to put her arms down. But uh, yeah, just stories like that about my trials and tribulation because Sometimes people feel like they're the only ones that have problems. And I let them know I got a lot of problems, too. Well, it makes you feel more real to them. Because yes. here you are, a cover on Vogue magazine in yes. 1974, yes. right? Yes. I've got the right year, don't yes, I? You oh, do. good. Thank you. Yeah, I've got all this information running around here in my brain. Sometimes I mess up. But, and, you know, all the things that you have done, television, modeling, all the covers of all these magazines. Yes. But you're a real person, right? Yes, that's uh, absolutely right. And also I let the kids know that I live down here. I, I'm not in Hollywood. This is my community. And uh, I live right around the corner. And uh, it's, it's really what Barbara and, and Frank have done is something so unique and so special. I've never been involved. I've been involved in a lot of charities, but I've never been involved in a charity quite like this where it, for me, it's been really hands-on. And I always say, I think I get more out of it than the kids do because it really fills my heart. Can you share any stories? I know a lot of the children's stories are private, but can you share anything with our audience about what you've seen from the children, how they've blossomed? Well, one of the things, one of the, what we do in the fashion show, we actually tell a little something about each kid. And, um, and we, we have them make three wishes. And some of the wishes are just heart-wrenching and heartbreaking. Uh, one was, I wish my mother would believe me. I mean, oh, really? I mean, things like, I, I, I want to be a police officer so that I, I can put all the bad guys away. I mean, we're talking about really young kids and, and, and the effect and the trauma that they've gone through. And also having a place where they can actually come and, and be healed and make their life whole again, which is really rare, as we all know, yes. that you get that opportunity to do that. And it's to stop the cycle of abuse. Exactly, too. exactly. So it's a very special organization, and I encourage everyone just to come down to the center to see for themselves mm -hmm. what 
goes on there. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, and it's, I mean, I can't believe in our community here that we have so many child abuse problems. It's just, it's sickening to me. Yes, it's systemic everywhere. And it's, it's so wonderful that we do um, have a place where kids actually come from the police straight to the center. And, mm -hmm. and, and they are able to uh, tell their story and also begin the healing process. Right. And not only for the kids, but for the family members mm -hmm. also. Mm -hmm. it's, it's amazing. It's, it's really incredible. So are you going to win the golf tournament this year? Yes, I think I, I, think I should. I think, I, I think I'm due <laughs> to win. I played today, which wasn't so good, so maybe I was saving it for tomorrow. Oh, that's okay. Now, did you ever meet Mr. Sinatra? I did. I have. As a matter of fact, it was in Las Vegas and, and with Barbara, and he had a concert, and then afterwards we went up to this amazing uh, suite. It was a group of uh, people and friends, and he was so funny and, and so um, charismatic, and, and I was nervous, but he just put everyone right at ease, and it was a, a lovely evening. That's a fabulous story. Yes. Thank you, Pepper. Yes. Now, to update me on what you're doing in your career. Well, I have a New York Times bestseller. Oh, congratulations. I no. Wow. It's the face that changed it all. It's my memoirs from my childhood 70s and 80s. What a great title for your book. Yes, yeah. I thought so. <laughs> and um, the people have spoken, and they like the book very much, and they're already talking about a possible miniseries. <gasps> Fantastic. Yeah. Wow. What a career you've had, Beverly yes. Johnson. Yes. yes. And thank you for all you do for the Barbara Sinatra Children's Center. Thank also. you. Yes. Thank you. Well, have a good golf game this thank weekend. Thank you. Okay. I'm going to get a hole in one. Yes, you do that. Okay. Okay, all great. Right. Thanks, Beverly. Thank you. I hope you've enjoyed the interviews with all these crazy celebrities with the Frank Sinatra Celebrity Golf Invitational for 2016. Can't believe it's the 28th year. I want to thank everybody for supporting the Barbara Sinatra Children's Center and all the children that are blessed and taken care of at the Children's Center. And I want to thank all of the people involved with the golf tournament for allowing me to do this. I think this is my fifth year of doing uh, the registration at Frank's Place. So thank you and we'll join us again for the 20. Ninth annual Frank Sinatra Celebrity Golf Invitational. For more information, email TOTDTV at questoffice.net and visit talkofthedesert.tv on the web. Hey there. That shot was so much better.